officer assigned to monitor the roof the gunman was on left the post because it was too hot. Former CIA station chief uh, Dan Hoffman joins me now. Dan, how could this happen? Well, first, I just think it's important to, uh, to vet what whistleblowers are, are coming forth with. So that information yep. might be true, it might not be true. I've been involved in lots of investigations over the course of my career. And what really I think is important to note is that uh, Congressman Mike Kelly, who represents Butler, he proposed a resolution which passed 416 to nothing to create a task force that will investigate the attempted assassination. We've got seven Republicans and six Democrats on the task force. They'll look at all the whistleblower reporting and everything else we've got. It was a massive failure uh, to secure the venue. And I think that uh, that report will go a long way towards answering questions that we have and towards ensuring that we don't repeat this sort of um, horrific lapse, multiple lapses in, in judgment. FBI Director Christopher Wray said agents uh, that have inappropriately talked about Trump's assassination attempt are under investigation. Watch this. Have any FBI agents texted, emailed, or expressed disappointment that Trump survived the assassination, assassination attempt or otherwise editorialized about the assassination attempt? Uh, I don't know about any agents. Uh, there have been uh, at least two instances, I think, or one instance of an individual uh, who posted something uh, that I consider outrageous and totally inappropriate um, and uh, unacceptable. And that individual has been referred to our inspection division. Uh, Dan, surely that agent should be fired if indeed the agent put something out of that nature. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be serious disciplinary action there. Look, FBI agents, CIA officers are, are, are nonpartisan. They serve, they take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Uh, they're not uh, rooting for one side or the other, just trying to do their job. And that sort of incident, um, it's, it's one that would cause, I think, the public to, to really grave concern, not to mention uh, former President Trump. So uh, I'm sure the FBI will get to the bottom of it, and I'm sure the task force will take a look at that and, and other associated issues with the attempted assassination. Dan, I want to change the subject for a moment here. American fighter jets intercepted Russian jets and two Chinese bombers. Um, this was about an hour before the president spoke last night. And I believe that these planes were flying in formation, which we've not seen before, towards the coast of Alaska. You were with the CIA. You know what this is all about. What do you make of this incident? And is it a test of our weak and aging president? I think it's, it's a number of things at the same time. First, they were absolutely aware that, that President Biden was about to give only his fourth, uh, his fourth speech from, from behind the resolute desk. And so they wanted to take the news and own the news, own the narrative themselves, and make it appear to their own population uh, that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the United States. I, I think that there's a bit of uh, propaganda there that, that Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin see the value of, uh, of doing that. And make no mistake, it is a test. It's what they, the Chinese are doing uh, to Taiwan. The Russians routinely violate the airspace of our Baltic NATO member states as well. Got it. Dan Hoffman, thanks for joining us this morning.